What's up guys, welcome to this little strategy video. Usually we have highlights on this channel, but every now and then I think it's good to mix in some strats. So today I will look a little bit into the tournament's variance, tournament variance calculator, mainly because I get the question quite often why I grind the morning schedule and why is it that people are running so bad and I'm always running so hard. <laughs> so first of all, obviously on YouTube you only see the highlights, right? If I lose a flip early in the tournament, you will probably not see that in the highlight videos. So, you know, you only see the good runs, the deep runs, and obviously to run deep in MTGs, you got, you got to run hard. And this pretty much brings me to this topic. So a lot of people, like, as I said, ask me like why they, or like not ask, but complain why they, they, they run so bad. And I always say it's just variance. You know, you might be not as good and not beating the games as hard as you could, if you would invest more time into the game, study more. But most of the times it's also that you are just not playing enough. So we want to look a little bit into variance uh, into a vari variance calculator today, which um, just shows us how crazy variance can be in MTTs and that we need to put in the volume as well. So for me in the morning session, I got prepared something that I will show you later, guys. Right now we will look at somebody playing a $55 tournament, for example, in the evening. 5,000 players, certainly reasonable. These are the big tournaments a lot of you guys are looking for. You know, those guys that play recreationally, you know, trying to have a little bit of fun after work and not doing this professionally. Let's say these guys, they want to have a big score. They want to win something big. You know, they don't want to play like a 550 tournament. They want to play like the big 55. They want to go for a big bank, win a couple of thousand dollars or 10,000 of dollars. I'm not really sure on a Sunday how big that can get, but pretty much what I want to get down to. So let's say we have a guy here that plays those bigger tournaments in the evening after work. He plays like 1,000 tournaments a year, which isn't that much, but you know, that's what a lot of guys will play, maybe even less than that. But yeah, I certainly get like people asking, like tell me that they run so bad over the last three years. And what you gotta realize that as well is I grind almost every day. And I really put in the volume, you know, last year I played like 10,000 tournament, tournaments, I think. And those guys maybe played like 1,000 over the last three years. So it's always like, you shouldn't think about it as a time span, but more like an amount of tournaments played. But what we look in he look into here first is like that. What's really important here, as I said, one thousand tournaments. Let's look at the crazy like how crazy variance can actually be in a tournament like that. We gave ourselves a fifteen percent ROI. Um, yeah, I think the rest is obvious. Five thousand players, eight hundred paid. And what we see here is, you know, this is like obviously the sick hard run, and this is the worst run possible. But it is possible to run that bad. You know, if you look at these runs in between over 1,000 hands, you could still be losing. Losing, losing. Oh, we got some winnings, win, winning ones in there as well. So, variants can be freaking crazy in MTTs. And over 1,000 tournaments, which isn't much at all, there's like huge differences. You know, you could be the guy be up like 140k over those 1,000 hands if you're really running hard. But you could also be the guy being down 33,000. What I gotta add here and what is, what is really important is that you cannot forget that you might not be beating the games as much as you think you are. You might not be beating the games at all. Maybe you're a losing player, you know, never overestimate your abilities. It's easy to do in MTDs, you know, you have one big bank, you think like, oh my God, this game is too easy. But then over time, your leaks definitely will get exploited and you start losing money. But we got like a big difference here, okay, between this graph and this one over here. You know, this one, I mean, we clearly see the variance, look at all these different ones, but over here, it looks like way more steady. There's a couple of reasons for that, okay? So as I said, this tournament should look like a big 55 in the evening. Over here, I prepared like a little micro stakes tournament that I might play in the morning, you know? I usually don't play as low as 550, but that's just what I put in there. 200 runners, 40% ROI. Obviously, instead of playing a 55 dollar tournament, we play 550 now, people are weaker. Our, um, our eyes should be bigger. Also big difference, suddenly we have 10,000 tournaments played and not 1,000. So that is like a full year of full grinding, I would say, really putting in the volume. And suddenly you realize, oh shit, variance doesn't look all too bad anymore. You know, instead of like playing a huge tournament in the evening, we fire up some smaller ones, maybe on like different sites where our ROI is also bigger, you know. Maybe play some tournaments on 8-8 or something like that. <clears throat> Shout out to my sponsor. <laughs> and yeah. And definitely what you realize here is just like over a bigger sample size, bigger ROI, suddenly it looks way more steady. And honestly, for me especially, trying the morning schedule, I much, much rather have this graph 
in the end of the day than this one where I could be this guy, but I could be that guy, but I could also be that guy and everybody would tell me how big of a fish I am. And that's something we just got to realize, you know, bank like variance is crazy in MTTs. Take it easy, be tight with bankroll management. A lot of people say like 100 times the buy-in and I think that's fine for micros if you want to have fun. But once you get up to the bigger stakes, definitely take it easy, especially if you're crying like big on Sundays. You know, maybe you bring the Sunday million once in a lifetime, probably not. And then you win big. But for me, like having those steady 3K, 2K, 4K scores, it's just freaking, it's freaking good, you know? I have like a constant improvement to my bankroll. I can really move up the stakes. I see my bankroll grow, that's motivating. But if you grind these big, big tournaments and these huge fields, it's just, it can be devastating, you know? You use the flip in the end and boom, you finish 14th place and you cash for like, I don't know, $55 tournament for like 1K if you are lucky. And wow, then first place would be like, I don't know, 30K, could be possible on a Sunday. And something like that is just devastating. And like all these constant, steady, finer tables that we, that you will find over here. Are first of all, motiv motivating. You know, I upload many videos where I've been like a tournament for 500 bucks, maybe 2K, maybe 1K. But you know, at the end, everybody's hyped. I had a good time. I made some money. I didn't live too bad. And yeah, that's pretty much what it gets down to. So with this short video, I just want to remind you guys, once again, take it easy with the variance. You know, maybe fire up some smaller stakes, have a little bit more fun, exploit some people. Make fun of others playing bad and just try to improve as well. Obviously, every now and then you gotta take a shot at the bigger stakes to keep motivated to, you know, have something that you try to achieve. And yeah, but just never forget where you come from. It's kind of weird to say, but yeah, never forget where the real money is and where the steady money is. And that is just at the smaller field tournaments. That's just my point of view. Obviously, we have like many, many people out there grinding the evening schedule, but this is just what worked for me. And I think these graphs show that really well. So I hope you enjoyed this a little different of a content this time. Let me know what you think, you know, if you have any more questions. I'm always in the comments answer comments answering them, so feel free to throw them out there. And as usual, just drop the like if you enjoyed it and drop the sub. Helps me out and I always appreciate that, guys. So hope you had a good time and good luck in the tournaments that you are going to play now. Cheers.